that's why I say at the beginning is like it might bring up some sadness when you come into this environment even though everyone thinks it's just, it is such a positive week and it's so beautiful but it's like we grieve what we didn't have by mm. finally feeling that acceptance yeah. and the yeah. chosenness hi everyone this is Brittany bond and welcome back to the podcast Today we have a very special episode because we are still at our flow state retreat in Austria and we are, inter oh, we are, I am <laughs> interviewing everyone who wants to um, and how their experience is. And sitting in front of me is the lovely Andreas, or as we like to call you, Andy. Um, how are you feeling in your body? I'm feeling very good. I feel very comfortable with, with all these with all these blankets. <laughs> and like, uh, yeah, I feel very happy. Mm. Just very very comfy. Mm. Yeah, uh, as if you if you're not watching visually, I'll give you a little the lowdown that we are basically turning into a blanket blob right now. <laughs> <laughs> like we're under so many blankets on the balcony, <laughs> and Faraday put a mattress on top of the table behind the video camera, which is also really funny because <laughs> then people are just laying on the table watching us. <laughs> Um. So, how, in this video, do you want me to call you Andreas or Andy? Andy. Andy. Oh, Andy. Okay. So, Andy. <sighs> what What is your biggest takeaway from this experience? My My biggest takeaway from this experience from this whole week is like how how amazing and just how beautiful it is to have a uh, to live in a com 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 community like uh, like like ours mm -hmm. right now like just uh, ju just one big family and um everybody got each each other's back mm. and we are just so looking looking after uh, after each each other and it's just it's such like such a nice uh, full of love a fa family vibe and Yeah, I, I, I feel, I, I feel like this is what this is what most people want. Like just like, we, we just want to have have a have a family, have a have a safe space, have like people we feel um, connected to, feel comfortable with, feel loved, um, loved by. And this week was all of that. Hmm. And I remember um, you were saying at the beginning that you were wanting to feel like you could be safe to be yourself all the way yeah and then there was this moment where you felt like you dropped in and you can you share a little bit more about that if that's yeah okay? yeah like uh at the beginning of the of the re retreat i um i i i felt um like when i when i when i first uh, arrived here it was like very uh, over overwhelming because new place so many new new people i i've never met met before and like um on the first evening i i i really couldn't let myself be who i really am mm -hmm. just uh, like I, i i struggled to let my inner inner child um just come out and play and like be itself mm -hmm. um Li and I, I was very in my in my head that that evening. But throughout the week and throughout deep uh, con 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 conversations I've I've had with you or uh, with someone else, mm -hmm. I like I just felt I just felt the astonishing amount of love mm. everybody has for everyone else he around here, and just uh, and it's just like this big mattress you just you just <laughs> can can lie back and and uh, cuddle cuddle into like yeah we are one big mattress <laughs> yeah yeah like uh, right now exactly <laughs> and it, and it's just like it's just this feeling of of being home and just being where i where i want to be hmm. for someone like bef so you heard about the flow state retreats like you have yeah. friends who have come on it before yeah. I'm just r super curious, like your, what what you thought it was going to be versus what it is, or did those match up? Those two things? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I like. Um, I I I when I listen to to your uh, to your or uh, uh, Fadi's podcasts, like I I thought that um, the vibes from these uh, podcasts is like uh, is going to be. Oh, like yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Basically, I <laughs> it it matched up, and and I and I anticipated that that it would be some something like like this, but uh, but I 
Uh, okay, I'm I'm struggling with my English right now. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm also struggling with my English right now. Yeah, I just realized that if someone's first listening to this, they might not know what a flow state retreat is. So <laughs> if, you, if this is the first time you've ever heard of this, um, we take 12 to 15 people out of their lives and into a bubble of family, cho soul chosen family for a week. And we rent um, a hut in our house in Austria where we all live together, cook together, go in nature together, take psychedelics together, and then just, like, become this family, yeah. you know? And and so many people apply for them. And the reason why Faraday and I made these is because we, we are looking for our soul family, you know? Like, we actively want to hang out with you guys after this, you know? And we also are so excited to share all the things that we've learned along the way of us, like, waking up and dropping in our bodies so every day there's something like meditation, breath work. Um, Eve had a really great idea to have us write a love letter to ourselves. Mm. Um, just like beautiful things for us to connect to ourselves and our higher selves. And then, but the, the real point of the retreat is to be together. Like, yeah. um, and that's the, it's like allowing ourselves to drop into this vibration of family in a way that feels good in our bodies, you know? Yeah. Um, because so many of us come from families that are not as spiritually awake or, you know, like we just kind of felt a little bit out of place. We love them, but we didn't yeah. feel like completely ourselves in, th in our family situations or accepted for who we are. So this is a, for a lot of people here, I feel like it's a very healing situation um, because from their families, it, like, This is why I say at the beginning is like it might bring up some sadness when you come into this environment, even though everyone thinks it's such, it is such a positive week and it's so beautiful. But it, it's like we grieve what we didn't have by mm. finally feeling that acceptance yeah. and the yeah. chosenness. Yeah. So so if you don't know what a flow state retreat is, we do them a couple times a year. And in Copenhagen coming up, we're planning to do one day flow state retreats. But I think there is something very beautiful about like full on allowing ourselves to live together, cook together, yeah. go through all of it together, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, is there anything that you want to share with anyone who's listening about your experience here? Just want to open it up to anything you want to say of yeah. how it was for you. I feel like if uh, if people are listening to this who feel like they they crave their soul family mm -hmm. or they they crave people uh, who 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 really understand them on a on a on, on a deeper level and un, and understand and accept accept them uh, as who they truly are like don't hesitate to open yourself t to the world and um don't hesitate to reach out mm -hmm. like these people do exist and you are not not alone not mm -hmm. at all hmm. they are waiting f for you right now as you as you hear this oh that's so beautiful thank you for sharing um yeah oh uh, -ho. uh i think take a picture of us maybe what i'm in the middle of a podcast <laughs> like, <what? laughs> i'm in the middle of a podcast and fairy's like take a photo of us Oh, I always <laughs> do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Am I getting everyone? I feel like it's Carl in the back. I can't see you. Okay, right. I got it. <laughs> okay, I think. Do you, yeah, have, you, no, good? you feel good. complete? Yeah. yeah, I feel complete. Um, does anyone else want to jump on? Yeah. <coughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> Thank you, too. So next up, we have the lovely Marisa. I don't know why today I'm pronouncing your name you're as if very you're Italian, Italian. <laughs> Marisa. <laughs> uh, Marisa and I already knew each other before the retreat. We drove the what ended up being 10 hours together here with Faraday in the car, and it was amazing. Uh, I'm very happy to have you as a friend of mine. I'm so grateful that we had this week together. Thanks, me too. Um, how was the experience for you? Um very wonderful so i feel like i learned so much that um i might somehow have known so cognitively but mm -hmm. now i really feel like i can
can embody it and take it with me to my normal mm -hmm. life. So when I go back, uh, yeah, into the matrix. Uh, am I allowed to say what you do? Yeah. Okay. So for uh, anyone who is listening, Marisa <laughs> is a judge, and she like wears robes and everything, <laughs> like, like in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> and. I with love clothes it. underneath. So with clothes it. underneath. She's not naked, <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's wondering. Um, and I remember you were saying that, you know, you when you're at work, you try and keep, like, your your positive attitude and your high vibration. And then, like, after the fifth conversation of people complaining about their life, it's like, what yeah. am I doing here? Yeah, it's very hard to keep the frequency high mm -hmm. in such an um, environment. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. And has it... From that environment, being there every day, to being in this environment, um, how was that for you? It was challenging. So to, to be honest, it was um, like you you said to Andy. So I really needed two days to to drop in here. Mm -hmm. And I um, at the beginning I I couldn't quite even say or pinpoint what was going on inside of me. It was mm. I felt like it was just a lot, and I didn't f um, feel grounded. Mm -hmm. But then I. I was able to somehow let go mm. and really, um, really be me. Yeah. So mm, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, is there anything that you're going to like take home from this experience? Add so much. <laughs> 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 or really anything you want to share? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. So f for me, it was a really, really healing experience to be uh, um, accepted. And in this mm. family of, of ours now, just as I am, because mm. I I so realized that I'm always trying t to be more more active and more on the outside, and um, just to be someone I'm not. So I just mm. and, and I'm and I'm scared to not be accepted or not interesting in a group because I'm more like calm and. I need time for myself to, mm -hmm. um, yeah, ju just to think about everything. And I really like to be around you, so all your people, and just don't say anything. Just yeah. be in the room with you. So, mm -hmm. But I don't, yeah, I just want to be there mm -hmm. and not do anything. Just be there and enjoy your presence. And mm -hmm. I realized that really all my life I thought that wasn't enough. So, mm. And now here it was enough and that's just just really beautiful and takes so much pressure from my shoulders yeah and yeah. i want you to know that you definitely were adding energy into the room by being there without having to say anything <laughs> like i love having you around <laughs> i think <laughs> and involved um some of my closest closest women in my life are very introverted and i just fucking love it because <laughs> i am so extroverted that it calms me down and also i feel that there is moments where I want to be that, you know, so I can come hide away with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm trying to, th is there anything that you want to say to people if they're thinking to come on one of these? Yeah, it, it may be the same as Andy said, but maybe for people in my situation. So it's, I'm, I'm one of the oldest participants here. So mm -hmm. I'm in my mid thirties mm -hmm. and I've, a lot of programming <laughs> mm -hmm. until now and um, I really was somehow anxious if, if if I still would fit just if I said and I want to say to especially those people you can still escape so it's mm -hmm. not over um, if you don't get it with 20 or something so mm -hmm. you you can still do this and you can still be yourself and yeah that that's that's my main takeaway. That's beautiful. <laughs> that, that's what I want to share. And I really want to encourage people never to think it's too late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're in the middle of transitioning yourself yeah. in whatever way that <laughs> timeline you need to do that. But you do have a goal of getting out of your job, and moving into something that's more yeah, soul fulfilling. Definitely. Yeah. And I also feel very much like you just said, it's OK to do it in my timeline. Yeah. So, yeah, there's nothing I have to rush. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, thank you, babe. <laughs> thank you, too. <laughs> the lovely Yvonne. Am I saying your name right? Yes. Freddie asked me the other day, is it Yvonne or Yvonne? Yvonne. Yvonne, yeah. Yvonne. Yvonne. So Yvonne and I met on Instagram. 
Mm-hmm. And I really loved your vibration. I felt already like sister vibes. And something that's very beautiful about us that people might not know is that we were raised in the same religion as Jehovah's Witnesses. And I feel like that just leaves a certain mark. Mm-hmm. Um, but can is it okay for you to share that you were you were I remember I loved what you were saying that you felt resonance with me before you even knew that about me. Yes. Yeah. Um so I was like following I was like yeah. um following Betty for a long time and uh, I didn't know why, but somehow it was also because I should know Ferdi, but also it led me to you. Mm. So um and then I w- was thinking, who is she? <laughs> <laughs> and then you started making podcasts, and uh, I was I heard the first one, and I was like, wow, mm. it I could um, relate to so many things that you said, and um, it was like you are speaking from my heart, as mm. from your heart to my heart. <sighs> yeah, so mm. yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. I just, I really liked what you said the other day because I have had this happen to me where I meet someone and I'm like, I feel like I know you Mm -hmm. and I don't, I haven't, we haven't, we don't know each other, but then it's like, oh, okay, we were raised in the same religion because it's like such a cultural thing. It doesn't matter from anywhere in the world that you are. Um, uh, So how was your experience here? Because you have a little baby, Luca, right? Lucas. Lucas. Yeah. So the first um, three days were like super challenging and um, I really cried a lot, not only because I was missing Lucas, but um, it was like all the trauma and um, negativity and all the expectations that were stuck inside there and I couldn't release them. So Mm. here, um, when I came here, it was like, the first thing I did was just cry because because I had a safe space mm-hmm. and I could just let it let it all come out. So it really took like three days, and I was super super down and sad. And um, but um, I'm happy that all of you were here mm-hmm. and uh, gave me a safe space. So it was beautiful. Mm. Thank you. And we do it together, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I. I love that you felt safe enough to release because I feel like in the spiritual community, there's so much like I am happy and everything's mm-hmm. perfect or I'm in an ayahuasca ceremony and ah, let it all yeah. out. But like, <laughs> you know, like the, the healthy grounded release yeah. is, is sometimes missing. Mm-hmm. And also I feel like people are like, yeah, they're like, is it okay? Yeah. Is it okay to be sad? And I, f- I, I think that's a, an interesting thing to share about the flow state retreats is because people maybe see our Instagram stories mm-hmm. and they're like, high vibes all the way. Do I fit in there? You know? And, and then it's like the actual reality is, mm-hmm. you know, it's a safe space, but then things come up yeah. and then we process and we do it together. Yeah. Um, w- what would you, do you have anything that you want to share that you're like taking home from the experience? Um, <coughs> so Eve did and you you also did some um, how do you say it um, like uh, wo- put that <laughs> <laughs> uh, w- uh, we worked we worked together as a group um, like connection games uh, exactly yeah. Connec- we did connection games and um, they really helped me and that's what I'm I really love that it made me feel free in my body again and mm. um opening myself and letting all the love in Mm. what I just really wanted all the time and um, yeah what was the question? (laughs) (laughs) I love you (laughs) that was perfect (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) um, (laughs) (laughs) I love it (laughs) it was perfect um is there yeah is there anything you want to share about your week here like you know what you thought it was going to be going into mm-hmm. it versus what it was or just okay. any highlights of the week so i didn't have any expectations i knew that it's um, going to bring up many things that are stuck in there but um it's 
way way better than I could have ever imagined <laughs> and um, <laughs> I'm just I'm just so so happy and um, you told us in the beginning to I just want to share it with you guys yeah. you told us in the beginning to write in our books um, what we want to take out of here so my um i just wrote two sentences i didn't need, i didn't need to have to write a full page i just had two sentences and it was um let all the love in because i deserve all the love mm. that mm. there is and to feel free to just feel free i don't have to do anything i can just be so mm. and i told you guys the the first three days were like I was just crying, super sad, and everything is so heavy. And then now it is just like <sighs> <laughs> I, I feel all the love. I took everything in, and it's just wonderful. I f the the two days now were just like <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, is there anything you would want to say to anyone who's considering coming? Um, there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, you can do anything. Mm. It's all up in here. And uh, most of the time, you are the one who keeps you away from doing things. So maybe just don't think too much. Just do it. Just just do it. Aww. Nothing keeps you back. Thank you, babe. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to share, or you mm. people are listening? No, I'm I'm good. Okay. It was just like conversation with you, yeah, yeah. and amazing. It's perfect, babe. Thank you so much.